Okay. I have to borrow a party tool. So I am going to make it a little dusty with MDF stuff for a minute, so because I have to get in at least that far. where it's a little snooper too far, it's easy to do. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that's it. It's it's funny though. I mean, you can see when I'm when I'm using the jet, I fumble around a little bit, and because this is a lathe I have at home, is all the muscle memory works. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> nothing elaborate on doing the the bolt. I made this, actually I made this jam chuck big because I would do a bigger one at home and I'm, 
so, but it's going to kind of be in my way a little bit. same moves you do on any bowl, but you usually do this one first, and here you're doing it last. Well, I'm not going to go through a whole lot more. You'd be sanding this, okay? Um, <coughs> you didn't smile. And then, so that's it. I mean, you're, it's thick because you can't avoid that really. I mean, I could, I could put this right back on and say, you know, I want it thinner. I want it to make it come down at more of an angle. And I would have to clean this edge up. And I could probably do that just by, for this last couple of cuts, doing it on a flat piece. Okay, maybe put a, a couple of pieces of two-sided tape on it and then just do it flush on that. Or, of course, if you have a vacuum chuck or, or something else, or. I can't really use coal jaws or anything on this yet. But you can certainly sand it all that way. Oh, and I just saw a little bug hole in here, so I'll probably take it home and cut it. What I'll probably do in this case is I'll cut a bead here to match, I mean, a, a line to cut this, match this line here, and then I'll just come right up to that line and all of that. But so you saw this is multi access. Um, and you can do it on regular stuff without a fancy chuck and everything. You just have to, you know, have a, a lathe slow enough to uh, to run it. Okay. All right. That's it. So.